ornatrix is the Latin word for hairdresser. An ornatrix created this elaborate hairstyle for the Roman Empress Julia Domna using an advanced technique called two-strand rope braiding. The Roman ornatrix used very simple tools to create this wearable art. In this video, you will learn several types of two-strand rope braids, the free hanging and augmenting Z-twists and S-twists, and the automatic two-strand rope braid. In rope braiding, the individual strands are passed back and forth between the thumb and index fingers and the remaining fingers of both hands. Because of how their strands must rotate, S and Z techniques are slightly different from one another. Mastery of both S and Z technique is essential to creating symmetrical hairstyles. Braid Morphology From their origin point, S-twist rope braids coil toward the right. The diagonal lines separating the strands follow the slope of the letter S. From their origin point, Z-twist rope braids coil toward the left. The diagonal lines separating the strands follow the slope of the letter Z. To create tight, attractive braids, the two strands must be twisted independently as they are coiled around one another. Yarn practice facilitates comprehension of the technique. Free hanging two strand rope braids. We will begin with the free hanging S twist. The S twist mantra is twist left, pass the left strand over, twist left, pass the left strand over. The brown strand is on the left, black strand is on the right. Twist each strand toward the left several times before beginning the coil. Pinch the black strand between the thumb and forefinger of the right hand and the brown strand between the thumb and forefinger of the left hand. While twisting it toward the left, pass the brown strand to the right palm, hold it down with the remaining fingers of the right hand. The black strand is on the left. Pinch the black strand between the thumb and forefinger of the left hand. Transfer the brown strand from the palm to the thumb and forefinger of the right hand. While twisting it towards the left, pass the black strand over to the right palm, holding it with the remaining fingers. Repeat the mantra, twist to the left, pass the left over all the way down the strand. When working with the natural hair, keep a firm grip and keep the hair as smooth of tangles as possible. The Z-Twist mantra is twist right, pass the right strand over, twist right, pass the right strand over. The brown strand is on the left, the black strand is on the right. Twist both strands towards the right several times. Cross the two strands by bringing the black strand over the top. Place it between the right, middle, and ring finger. With the left hand, pinch the brown strand and while twisting it toward the right, place it between the middle and ring fingers of the right hand. At the same time, transfer the black strand to the thumb and forefinger of the right hand. Repeat the mantra, twist right, pass the right strand over, twist right, pass the right strand over, all the way down the strand. Now for the Z-Twist on natural hair.
Augmenting Two Strand Rope Braids. For the S-Twist Augmenting Rope Braid, twist left, pass the left strand over while adding a small strand of additional hair to the working strands as desired. When augmenting S-twists on the left side of the face, add new strands from underneath. Note how the rope pattern shows in high relief when S-pattern is used on the left side of the face. When weaving augmenting S-twists on the right side of the face, add new strands to the top or foreground strand. Note how, when S-twist is used on the right side of the face, the rope pattern appears less well defined. For the Z-Twist Augmenting Rope Braid, twist right, pass the right strand over, while adding a small strand of additional hair to the working strands as desired. When weaving augmenting Z-Twists on the left side of the face, add new strands to the foreground strand. The rope pattern will appear less well defined. When weaving augmenting Z-twists on the right side of the face, add the new strands from underneath. The rope pattern appears well defined. Automatic Two Strand Rope Braid. This technique creates lovely decorative effects and is particularly useful when you need to consume length. An automatic two strand rope braid occurs when a single strand of hair is twisted tightly, then carefully folded in half over one finger. When the finger is removed and tension is released, the hair twists around itself, creating a two strand rope braid with a loop on the end. The ends of the hair are at the root and must be secured, otherwise the rope will undo itself.
two-strand rope braids are rare in ancient Roman hairdressing, except during the period of Empress Julia Domna, but they are useful and beautiful in modern contexts.